It's actually kind of cool. All right, how's it going? Brian Donald here. Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a really short video. I just thought of something really cool, a really cool photo idea that you can make at home or anywhere you want and it's really, really easy to do. But I think the results are going to be so cool. And so what I have in mind, I got this light sent to me. It's like a, an RGB light, but it has a bunch of different modes on it. So the mode it's on now, it can flick between like loads of colors in like a kind of party-ish mode. So like as you can see, my face is changing colors a lot here. It has a bunch of different ones, but this is the one I'm going to focus on. If you have a light that can change colors like this really fast and then you take a long exposure, that's how you get these really cool photos that you see in ads of like computer technology. It's like a kind of like a rainbow trail. If I change the shutter speed on my camera, there we go. So if my shutter speed's really slow, you can see the trails of light. So basically, I have a really cool photo idea to do with this light, really easy to do. It's just gonna be a simple long exposure photo, but it's gonna be slightly different. It's gonna be two photos. The first photo is gonna be a long exposure. The second photo is gonna be a normal photo. And then I think it's really cool that I'm gonna show you how to combine them both together to make a really cool result. And it's really easy to do. So let's get into it. It's actually kind of cool, to be fair to it. All right, so this is basic. Whoa, I made that way too bright, I can't see. Let's go back. There we go. Okay, so this is basically the scene. You want a really dark room. The room's still behind me here, but you don't want any lights on in the background as I had before. This is gonna be our setup with just the one light. That's all we need. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm on a chair here. I'll see if you can see the chair. I don't know why I'm filming this in the dark, but basically it's gonna be a long exposure. I'm gonna set my camera to 14 seconds. I'm gonna press start. And as soon as I start pressing recording, I then get this light, change it back to the multicolored mode. You can also do this in like normal, like just if you have like a normal RGB light and just want to do like a green long exposure, you can also shake the green all over the place and then you have a green line. Might be cool for like Paddy's Day or you can do like blue if it's the color of your country or something like that. But this is the mode I'm going to go for now because this looks really cool. So I'm just going to sample one or two images, basically just trace it around the place and see how it goes. Right, so to wrap up this shoot, thought I finished with these two cool lights. These are complementary colors to each other. That's why this looks kind of moody here. It's actually probably really, you know, this is really studio-like. It's pretty awesome, actually. Maybe do some self-portraits like this, but that'll be for another video. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got all these photos now. They look really cool. If you flick through, some are better than others, some are not so great, but if you combine them all together in Photoshop, that's when you get a really cool result. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly edit them together. The photo of me sitting on my chair, in the light. First, I'm gonna take that into Lightroom. I'm gonna darken the edges. I'm gonna do some quick adjustments just to clean up some areas. Then I'm gonna take it into Photoshop and here I'm gonna add the images of the light streaks. So yeah, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up because I love to share these little tricks and uh, an extra comment for this cool lighting system to end it off. I mean, how cool is that? I think it's kind of cool. I think it's worth a like. So subscribe for more and hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.